Hello everyone, it's Winona the left-handed beater. Welcome back and welcome if you're new and if you like what you see please like, subscribe and comment. Well I wanted to play a little bit with Dee Dee's beadbox today and I'm just going to make a quick bracelet and I thought I would like to use this as the centerpiece and because it's so delicate I thought I would do a strand of each of these on each side. So, how am I going to start this? Well, let's measure. So this is about an inch and a half. An inch and a half. So how much will I need? This is really testing my brain here. So we'll put a couple of crimp beads down. Grab one, whoopsie. And we'll string it through here. Whoopsie. I didn't want to waste much of it, so I'm trying. I kind of got the shakes today. I um, was doing some bead weaving, and I felt like I was a little bit shaky. Okay, so that should be good. Now, let's clamp it with this here. I'm just going to clamp it flat or crimp it flat, and that's good. So, I need a piece of paper. <laughs> I can't add in my head. So, we've got an inch and a half. So let's say, oh, before we go, we should pick on our, pick out our clasp. I knew there was something else I had to gather. So here are my gold clasps. Let's see if I have something delicate. Hmm. How are these ones here? I'm not a fan of magnetic bracelets but these might work they're they're fairly heavy so we'll try it or magnetic clasps I should say not bracelets oopsie so it was an inch and a half and this will be five eighths of an inch so that is just over two inches and if we want to get to seven and a bit we need seven minus five is five I mean so that's only going to give us about two and a half inches on each side so I think this is plenty on this side and then we'll do the same on the other side. So I hope everyone's doing fine. It's a hot day here. Like, we had snow a few weeks ago and it's supposed to go up to 30 today um, Celsius. What am I doing? Oh yeah. See, I don't even know what I'm doing today. 30 degrees Celsius, so that is hot. I think that's in the 90s in Fahrenheit. I'm not quite sure what it is. I still think in inches and miles and that, but when it comes to temperature, it's metric for me. Okay, and we'll pull this up here. And then 
we'll clamp that there. And that's good. So we want to cut this really close because we don't want it aggravating someone. Here's my jar. I put all my wire and everything in when I'm done. So we'll cut about that much as well. So that's going to give me... going to be a really delicate bracelet. Oh yeah, that's plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. So we will string on the beads from here. And I don't know if this is the unicorn strand or what was that other one called? Variegated unicorn um, crystal mix or the a taste of summer Christ, mystic crystal mix so I'm not sure which one it was but we're just going to string them on as they come off and see how they go I should be outside cleaning up my yard and doing some planting, but it's too hot out there today. And I'm trying to get the upstairs here cleaned up, but I just don't have any energy lately. My granddaughters got baptized on the weekend. And Nova, who will be in grade one next year, I picked her up a little Bible that is um, Learn to Read Bible. And she said, that's just what I wanted, Grandma. I want to read my Bible. My other one's so big, but it's got gold pages, gold on the edge of the pages. She says, but I want to learn how to read. And she will. She's, she's a smart little girl. And it was Olivia's first birthday. Poor thing had a reaction to peanut butter the other day. Nova has a really bad peanut butter allergy right from when she was a baby. So Brett has been trying to introduce um, peanut butter slowly to Olivia to avoid that. And it's been going well. But then Olivia, um, so that is two. I can do about another half inch. Olivia rubbed her eye the other day and just had a horrible reaction. They had to take her to the hospital. And so she's going for allergy tests now too. But she's so cute. She's such a good girl. She just sat and watched everybody at her birthday party where are we at now we are just over two and a half so we'll crimp this oh I guess I did have a crimp, crimp bead out so this is just a simple easy bracelet just pulling the, the beads right from the strand hardest part is getting your wire into the crimp bead. Well, and the math, too. I'd like to get a couple of videos done today, but we'll see. Um, this is an easy way to pull your wire down, is just put your one of your tools in there and just don't close it. Just leave it hang from it and then just pull okay I'll let that out just a little bit and then I'll crimp it oopsie did I break that crimp I 
think I did. I think I broke my crimp bead, but it seems. Yeah, but would you want to wear this and have it fall off and find all those little beads? So I'm trying to cut it here. I I don't know. I can't see well enough, but I do think I broke it. So I'm trying to cut the side without cutting the wire. There, I think I got it. I think I have to put my magnifiers on. Just hold on, I'm just gonna grab my magnifiers. Okay, I got it off. I had to use this Otlite magnifier I bought when I was in Minot and it would st it sticks in the thing here so I didn't think you'd wanna see that. But anyway, we'll try this one again. Yeah, we went to their baptism and of course we're running late. Seems like we're always running late. And um, I, I have a stomach condition called gastroparesis. And sometimes I get really nauseous about two hours after I eat. And before we left, I just felt like I was gonna throw up. So we couldn't go. We had to wait till that passed. And um, Anyway, so I didn't realize it was a church service as well. I thought the girls were just getting baptized. And so I messaged Brett and say, we're running late, can you wait for us? And then we get there and it's the church service. And I'm like, okay, did I ever feel stupid? There, that's better. Um, but, we got to see them get baptized. They did so well. So now we'll do the other side. And we'll try to get that to be about two and a half inches as well. And I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm gonna, where I'm gonna cut that other strand. I'd like to see the variegated part of it. I have to say this is one of the most beautiful boxes I've ever received, but I am so far behind in my subscriptions. Once we finally get this room done, and you would think we're doing lots, but we're not. I just have too much junk. And I don't do well in a mess. I, um, I have a hard time creating when it's a messy, messy room. I'm all caught up on days of our lives now. I got about two or three weeks behind on that. So I haven't been feeling well and I've been spending a lot of time sitting. So I, I got caught up on it. And then I watched, the only two shows I really watch are Oak Island and that's, I don't know if you don't know about it, it's a mystery that's, it's a true story in Nova Scotia. And these brothers, there's rumors that there's treasure there that the Knights Templar may have dug. And many people have tried to find this treasure and none have. So these brothers are really, I think they're so close, but the season's about to end. So is that the same length? Isn't that pretty? I 
I think it'll be. So anyway, there's the season finales next weekend. Next Sunday in Canada. I think it's like Tuesday in the States. So I'll have to watch that. But it's going to be outside time soon. And last year I promised I would do a video of my gardens. I took lots of pictures. I never did a video. Maybe this year. If I have time, I'll put together a video of the pictures. that in there and I'll pull down it's nice having these nails but when they get to this point where it's almost time to get them redone again they get too long oh and my husband bought a new truck last week not brand new but fairly new so he's happy. I'm just glad he got it because he was driving me nuts. Okay, I don't know why that does that. But hopefully when we wear it, it'll go. Okay, so now I want to put on another strand on here. I really need to go to an eye doctor. I don't know what's going on. How come my eyes have gotten so bad? I have to phone and make an appointment. Yikes. When, last time I went to get my nails done, my husband says, I hate to waste this much, but my fingers aren't working. Um, he says, what do you need to go there for? He says, I can cut them off. I can saw them off for you. And it's like, no. I said, it's the one thing, because if you're new to my channel, you may not know that I had cancer and I had chemo and my hair never came back after chemo. It's just really fine and really, really, really thin. I look like an old man. And, um, you know, it. I don't have really eyebrows or eyelashes either. So, um, you know, the little things like getting your nails done makes me feel beautiful again. And if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. It just makes it hard to do things. I need to get them cut shorter because they grow so fast. But I really like this, this last time she did my nails. I think I'm gonna get them done the same the next time. It's just nice, it's subtle delicate okay. oh and I'm using 19 strand beetle on um, 0 0.018 it I bought it on um, Amazon from the States and it was like 10 bucks a spool and there's how much on here 100 feet so I thought that was a pretty good deal. I'll wrap this up so it doesn't get kinks in it. The only thing, these plastic things break all the time. Okay, so we'll put these to the side. I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to cut here. Oopsie, I didn't want to lose any. 
I don't know where that one went. So, so I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do one side with this going down into the blue. And the other side, I will do... Um, with the pink. Oops. Oh, now I'm going to get the hiccups. That's another thing that, since I've developed this gastroparesis, I burp a lot and I hiccup and... Sometimes the food is in my stomach for days. Come here, little bead. I don't know who's messaging me. My phone must be dead. I wonder if I can get this wire in here. Oh, that's much easier. Anyway, I was binge watching Yellow Jackets, but I'm behind now in that too. But since that VIP cross stitch that they sent me, those cross stitch kits, I have just been cross stitching like crazy. And that's part of the reason for my room being a disaster. I dragged out all my old cross stitch stuff. Oops. Do you guys have trouble with little beads? Hmm. Come on. There we go. Those two are kind of stuck together. So much for a quick video when it takes me forever to get my wire through the beads. And I put a ham in the slow cooker, so. And there's leftovers in the fridge. Oh, I wonder when my cleaning lady is coming. Hmm. I'm just gonna pause this for a minute and string the rest on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done stringing that on. I don't know why my fingers aren't working. Let me just go with the flow. My cleaning lady's gonna be here in about 10 minutes. She just messaged me, so that's good. I've only ever had, knock on wood, one crimp come apart. I've had some issues with my leather necklaces and mostly that's either my purse strap rubbing against the leather or my seat belt in my car. Okay. So now I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go here. And again, I'm going to try to just put the wire through the beads. This takes deep concentration. Oh, 
Oh, I wonder if my son is coming over. We are switching our internet. We're going with Elon Musk's Starlink or something like that. And it needs to get installed. So I probably should watch a video. Get him over here and get it installed because ours is so slow. There's times I just can't even get it up here in my studio. So. And I know my husband has a Samsung tablet. If he brings it up here for me to help him with something, we have to go to the bedroom in order to get internet. It just won't pick it up. This is easier and would probably work fine if you didn't have the issues I have with my fingers. But I, you know, I have so many health issues and I live in chronic pain, but I'm determined that I'm gonna get through this and I'm, that's what the doctor at the chronic pain clinic told me do stuff that makes you happy and keeps your mind off of your pain. So that's what I'm going to do. And we need a few more. So this isn't going too bad now that I am doing this. shouldn't say that. Some of the beads must have a little bit smaller hole in them. Oh, I'm going to have to pause you again. I think my cleaning girl is here. Okay, we're all settled in. Boy, has she got a job today. I think I need to take one bead off. And then we'll crimp this. And we'll Oopsie. We'll find a couple of um, jump rings. Come on. There we go. Got her in. You know, I used to find crimping so hard, and now it's just, you know, it's not such a big deal anymore. I think it's practice, hey? It's like anything. You practice enough, you get good at it. And that's going to be me with macrame. I'm going to learn how to do some macrame bracelets. There we go. Okay, so let's put these off to the side. I'll put my ruler off to the side. We don't need crimp beads anymore. So we'll pick those up. Let's see. Congratulations to Gail Burton. She won the draw yesterday. I wish I could have given all of you who commented uh, a, a gift box, but there will be draws in the future. Okay, so let's grab a jump ring. These are from Bargain Bead Box. Or Bead Box Bargains, I should say. I need to order myself some really good heavy duty jump rings like like these here but you make do with what you have ow <laughs> i got my thumb in here ah oh, that hurt okay and then i'm going to finish cleaning up my room 
where I'm going to try to finish cleaning up my room. Where I tell myself, just little bits, get a little bit done every day. Now, I'm going to grab a different plier. That magnet sticks to, oopsie, sticks to it. And you want to make sure you got this closed really well, which it isn't. And again, I'll probably have to put my magnifier on. <laughs> it's just like trying to do something with the cat. I had two file cabinets up here and one big one and one small one that I took out when we put the countertop in and they've been sitting in my kitchen, um, my dining area for a week, no, longer than that. And I had decided I would take one downstairs finally and, and put some stuff that I have up here down there. And then the other one I would paint pink and put it in the spare bedroom. Well, Allison came today and asked if she can buy one. And I said, well, no, but you can have one. So she's going to take it. Now, of course, this is a little big on me, but I don't mind that in a bracelet like this. So there's just a nice, delicate little bracelet. What I can do is I can use smaller jump rings, which I will off camera. But anyway, isn't that pretty? That's so delicate, and it would look awesome with my goddess bracelet. I, I don't, I think I put that up on my jewelry rack already. So just quickly, I'm gonna do something really quickly. I'm just gonna quickly make a few earrings out of these, um, these extras that were in the kit. And this is the one that I wanna make. The rest I can make off camera because basically it's just adding a jump ring and adding it to the earring. But this, I want to put this on here. So I need a jump ring. There's one. And there's one. The same size. And then we'll get, we'll get a couple of ear wires. Sorry for sniffling. Sniffling, burping, hiccuping. Oh my goodness. I'm so unladylike. I'm so happy those are going to be um, gone, those file cabinets, because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. Well, the one, I, the big one, I had thought I'm going to paint it pink and put it in Nova's bedroom. And um, I would put, like we buy paper towel and toilet paper and Kleenex all in, all in bulk. So I thought I would just um, store that in it, in each drawer. But that's okay, I'm glad it's gone. I, got, I can find another place to store that stuff. So yeah, isn't that cute? Just a cute little earring. And the rest I'm just gonna add to ear wires for my, if I do a craft show, um, for the little girls. Yikes. I stopped using these pliers because I found that I wasn't keeping them closed and everything would fall out of my hands. And I've been using them again and I'm struggling with that again that they keep falling out of my hands. Now I may need another jump ring, I'm not sure. Yeah, I need to, see how, if this was to hang in your ear right now, it's not gonna hang right. You need another jump ring, and just a tiny one. And I believe I have them in this packaging here. So we'll take that off. And 
And then in here, I have little jump rings. So you need another jump ring so that it turns right. Otherwise, it's always going to be dangling on the side of your head. So we'll add this to here. See what I mean? I keep letting go. Probably chatted your ears off today. But now see if I put that to the front, see how it hangs? Whereas this one, if I put it to the front, it doesn't hang right. So we'll quickly undo this. and hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to work on some more stuff yikes yeah I just can't hold on to anything oh there it is yeah hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to make some more pieces with Dee Dee's box just thought that was a cute pair of earrings and then I'll do the rest off camera and I'll just show pictures of them in the end and here's the bracelet just a nice tiny delicate little bracelet I might have to go in and make it a bit smaller because it is a bit big mind you I don't know in the summertime I tend to swell up a bit I don't know if that's too bad Anyway, that's it. I wish you lots of love, luck, and happiness. Until we meet again, take care, my friends. Bye-bye.